What better way to have an herbal shampoo than to make it yourself with veal herbs? Stay tuned and I will show you how. Hi, I'm Sherry and this is Buddy, top dog of Lucky Dog Creations. Hello friends, today we're going to be making another homemade shampoo. This time it's going to be an herbal shampoo. Let's get started, shall we? First thing that you're going to do is cut up some fresh herbs and you will want to have two tablespoons of fresh herbs of your choice. I chose rosemary and mint and I chose them because of the good benefits they have to your hair. Rosemary stimulates hair growth. It's an antibacterial. Um, it uh, increases the shine and relieves itchy scalp. And the peppermint increases circulation. It increases hair growth and it does prevent some hair loss. So I'm going to go ahead and dump two tablespoons in the bowl. And then next you're going to have to have a cup of boiling water. We're going to kind of make like a tea with the herbs in the water. So I'm going to pour that in there and then cover it up. Now this has to steep for two hours and then we'll go ahead and continue. So I'll see you in two hours. All right, so the two hours have passed and our herbs have been um, infusing into the hot water. So let's go ahead and finish this up. Now I have a measuring cup here with some cheesecloth on it. That is to strain the herbs because we don't want the pieces in there. We just want the infused water. So I have a rubber band on here to hold it in place. Hopefully I won't make a mess. And we'll go ahead and just dump that in there. And get all of the herbs there so we can squeeze them out. And this is probably where I'm gonna make the mess. And then you just go ahead and squeeze all of the liquid that you can out of there. And now you have a nice herb smelling water and we'll go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. So next we're going to go ahead and add one fourth cup of Castile soap. This will give it the cleansing and the lather that every shampoo needs. We'll go ahead and dump that in there. And stir that up. And then we're going to add a half a teaspoon of grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is um, good for moisturizing and conditioning your hair, especially for the dry hair. It won't leave it feeling greasy It's because it's a light oil. It um, is odorless, so it won't leave a scent, which is good because you're going to be adding your own essential oils plus the herb scents. And then it locks in the moisture and it prevents frizz, split ends, and brittle hair. Go ahead and add that to your mix as well and give it another stir. And next we're going to go ahead and add our essential oils and since my herbs were rosemary and mint those are the same essential oils I am going to use as well but you can use whatever essential oils you want you just want to make sure that you have 20 drops so I am going to do 10 drops of the rosemary and rosemary is good to stimulate the hair growth. It's antibacterial, it increases the shine and it relieves itchy scalp. Give that a stir. And 
and then 10 drops of the peppermint oil. And again with the peppermint, it increases circulation, increases hair growth, and it prevents some hair loss. We'll do 10 drops of that. We'll go ahead and give it a stir. And that's all there's to it. We'll go ahead and put it in our little bottle. It's best if you have a glass bottle anytime you use essential oil, but being as it's in the shower, I have a fear of knocking it over and breaking it. So I'm going to go ahead and just use an eight ounce plastic bottle with a flip cap. And I have a little funnel here and we will pour that in. Now, after you use your shampoo, you can follow it up with an apple cider vinegar rinse. And if you're interested in how to make that, um, you can go ahead and go to my other homemade shampoo video and see how I make that. And I'll enclose a link below. Add a little bit more here. And put the lid on. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe, hit the bell so you can get notices of my future videos. Thumbs up, thumbs down, comments and suggestions are always welcome. Thank you and I'll see you next time.